If you watch my videos, you'll know my bike fell over and this is the little bit off the end of the clutch lever that broke off. So I've been down to MMP's Cardiff, just off Hatfield Road, our local BMW dealer, and bought a new part, a new clutch lever, £77 worth. Ouch. Now to change this clutch lever, you need a few tools. A T50 Torx, a 14mm spanner, a T25 Torx, and an 8mm spanner. And I found a small socket that I can use to push the brass bush out of the hinge or the pivot. First thing you have to do is remove the mirror arm. So slide the rubber up, undo the lock nut, and then screw the mirror. You have to do this to remove the hand guard. You have to remove the hand guard to remove the bolt that the clutch lever pivots on. Remove the mirror off the bike, including the black washer. You'll get your T50 Torx, and in the end of the handlebars, you'll find a big Torx bolt. Loosen it off, Finish unscrewing it by hand and lift your hand guard, the bolt and the spacer all out of the way in one piece. Once you've moved the hand guard and bracket out of the way, you'll see the pin that you need the 25mm torque to undo. And then underneath the 8mm nut that you have to hold. This will allow you to remove the clutch lever at the pivot point. Once I knew the clutch lever wasn't just going to fall out on the floor, I put the nut back on the pin so I didn't lose it. Now gently pull the clutch lever out of the clutch housing and piston. Now turn your clutch positioning knob to the number one. This gives the least pressure on the spring. Try and get comfortable and hold the whole clutch lever in its position as you push in the bush out. Check the new parts, look the same. I was thinking of it at the time that this lever was the same for the clutch and the brake. I've just run out to the garage and had a check, and it is. Just put together the other way around. Now put the clutch lever position knob back in, then the spring, making sure it's in position 1. Then put the plunger part on, line it up, and push the bush back in. As long as it's perfectly in line, it will just slide back in. I have put a tiny little bit of grease on these moving parts. There we are, back together and you can see the spring mechanism working. Now gently line the plunger up 
put it back into position, line the hole up, push your bolt back in, once again if it's in line it will go in, put your nut on the bottom, tighten it up. I don't have the torque settings for these but I'm sure they're in the manual somewhere but I just pinched it up with a little tiny bit of Loctite on the nut. Check everything's free and working before you put the guard back on. And fitting the guard is just the reverse of taking it off. Make sure you got that black washer on top of the guard bracket. Line your mirror arm up, lock the pinch nut up. There we are, all done. Cheap little exercise, all because my bike fell over. Now this video isn't very long, and it didn't take any longer to actually do the job, and it is my first time doing this particular bike. Once again, there's the tools we've used. They're the only tools you need. Hope you never have to do this. If your bike just simply fell over, please hit the like button, click and subscribe. Thanks for watching.